Good morning, I'm Tim Archer, and we are reading through the Bible. You can go to timothyarcher.com and find the readings there. Somebody asked me if the birds in these videos are real. Yeah, they are. They consider that I'm invading their space, and they let me know about it while I'm recording. But I like to record out here. Um, we're reading the first seven chapters of First Chronicles, and oof, <laughs> it's not an easy read, is it? A bunch of names of a bunch of people that we never met and never will meet. And we, most of them, we have no clue who they are. We need to understand the Chronicles was written after the Israelites had been in captivity and, and they're reestablishing themselves as a nation. And, and some of this serves as legal documents, right? I mean, your family is part of this tribe and so you get this land and, you know, I mean, some of this is, is what you get when you get the abstract of a property here and, you know, and you're tracing down the ownership. Also, um, Chronicles is focused on the idea that God's people still exist and God's people will move forward and God's people will be a nation again. And, and these books, the first and second Chronicles, talk a lot about the temple and the importance of the temple in that identity, that national identity. And so if you can't read every word of, of these chapters, it's okay. Um, basically, just look at them to get the idea that they are establishing um, a national memory and a national registry and building going forward. Chronicles is a lot about looking forward. It ends on a very optimistic note, more than Kings did, okay? Kings was more about explaining why they went into exile. Chronicles is about reestablishing themselves after the exile and, and how the historical base will help them do that. So, enjoy the read. If it's not these chapters that you enjoy, it'll get better, okay? Let's pray. Father God, thank you for calling us to form part of your people for grafting us into this tree, as Paul called it, of a faith that, that is Israel. Thank you for letting that heritage become our heritage. And we look forward to living in the promised land you are preparing for us, where we will never go into captivity, we will never be driven out, we will never go into exile. Thank you for such promises. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hope you have a great Monday.